I want to talk about the crimes that are alleged against President Trump and the crimes that are being committed, have been committed by President Biden. And the interesting relationship between the two. Now, I just saw this morning that Representative Comer has disclosed that the Biden family has received $20 million plus in bribery payments from various entities. Uh, Russia, uh, apparently Kazakhstan, uh, China we know about, Ukraine we know about. The amount gets bigger and bigger, more accounts, more and more money. So you've got a vast criminal enterprise under the direction of Joe Biden, carried out by his underlings, which is to say by his two brothers, his son Hunter Biden. And all of this so far, the left is dismissing. There, there's, there's nothing there. There's no, this is just a, this is just a sideshow that the Republicans are putting on. They're focused on the Trump crime. And, and Biden is too. Um, remarkably, it's come out now that it's Biden who has been pressuring Mayorkas, uh, has been pressuring um, Merrick Garland, has been pressuring the Justice Department, the DOJ, to go after Trump. In fact, when Trump was indicted on the most recent indictment, uh, CNN said that this was a personal victory, a personal vindication of Biden, who uh, believes that Trump's actions uh, around January 6th are, quote, sedition, sedition. Now, Trump isn't charged with sedition, of course. Uh, but the interesting point here is that it could very well be that the way that they're going after Trump, the way that Jack Smith and the Biden DOJ are going after Trump, Namely, they're going after Trump on the idea that not only were his claims of election fraud false, and they're going to have to prove that, but that Trump knew that they were false, and they're going to have to prove that, and good luck in doing that, because if there's one thing that's more obvious to me than anything, it's that Trump believed initially, believed subsequently, believed at the time of 2000 Mules, believes today that the 2020 election was rigged and stolen. In fact, after watching 2000 Mules, Trump jotted on a little post-it and, 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 and handed it to me the words rigged and stolen. So this man believes this with all his heart and to prove otherwise seems to me an impossible project. But nevertheless, the point here is that there is a way that the House GOP can flip the script turn the tables, use this legal standard against Biden. And what do I mean by this? What I mean by this is Biden on many occasions has said things that are not only false, but we now know that he knew they were false. And this has happened time and time again. By the way, this idea of saying things that you know are false goes back to Obama. Let's think about Obamacare. If you want your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Now, Obama is the guy who supervised the drafting of the legislation. He knew that that was false. So not only was the statement false, Obama was aware at the time that he said it. It's a knowing lie by Obama. So has Obama committed a crime? Well, I would say no, Obama's a liar and he's, a, he's the great deceiver, as I sometimes call him, but that's not breaking the law. But Jack Smith says it is. Jack Smith says of Trump, and you just have to read the indictment and nothing could be more clear. Now, there are people on the left saying, well, the indictment isn't getting Trump for his spe free speech. It's not even getting him for knowingly lying. It's getting him for, for a conspiracy to commit crimes. Well, it is true that there are conspiracies to commit crimes, but then you've got to spell out what the standalone crime is. Let's say there's a standalone crime of, say, embezzlement or a standalone crime of bribery. Then you can't say I have a free speech defense because I, quote, promise to pay you money if you give me this uh, in return and I just spoke it, so it's free speech. No, because the free speech itself is not the crime. The crime is the bribery. The crime is the embezzlement. So in this case, what is the crime? What is the crime outside of Trump's free speech? And the answer is there is none. There is no standalone crime. And yet they're trying to make it a crime. And the point I'm trying to make, and others have made this too, Jonathan Turley and others, that this can backfire on Biden because the House can begin even now. They don't have to 
cross every T, they don't have to dot every I, they can begin impeachment proceedings against Biden and include in the articles of impeachment that, that Biden not only knowingly lied, I have no involvement in my son's dealings. I have never spoken to my son about business issues. We have never received any money from China or any foreign entity. Lie upon lie upon lie. And there's every reason now to believe that Biden knew that those were lies when he said it. He knew that he had had all these meetings. He in person as well as on the phone. He knew that he had conversed with Biden business associates. He wrote a letter to Devin Archer about his business. So Biden is actively involved and yet lying about it. So the point is that the House Republicans, if they're smart, if they're imaginative, if they want to push the ball, they should do it. Grab a hold of the Jack Smith standard, which is knowingly spreading falsehoods. Include those in articles of impeachment against Biden and turn Biden's own standard against him. Bank failures, record inflation, spy balloons, mass layoffs. It's a recipe for disaster if your investments are with a typical financial advisor. But my friend, Rebecca Walser is different. You've seen her on the podcast. She has such a canny grasp of global issues as well as issues affecting the U.S. economy. She's a wealth strategist, a tax attorney. She has a global MBA from the London School of Economics. She told her clients to get out of equities back at the end of 2021. She got it right when most advisors got it wrong and who had to pay the price? Well, you as the consumer. So don't let blind loyalty leave you losing money. Call her office today to protect your wealth from the market uncertainty. Debbie and I just did a call with Rebecca's team to talk about our investments. We're moving ahead and you should too. Go to friendofdinesh.com to book a call with Rebecca Walser's team today. That's friendofdinesh.com to protect your investments and your future.